Hello, Griffith students, parents, community members, and of course our staff. I hope everybody's having a great day. A couple announcements here for you. Um, we know that uh, our teachers are reporting on the 9th and 10th. Students, you are reporting on the 11th, first day of school. We're excited to see you. Uh, what I want to tell you guys is on Tuesday is the Meet the Teacher Day uh, for the junior senior high. Uh, I want to kind of set out the expectations of what this looks like and what to expect. So first of all, students and parents, when you come to the junior senior high, you're going to park by the baseball field. All right, that's door N right there. That's the door that you're going to enter. When you walk in those doors, there's going to be four tables set up right there. You're going to have your schedules. Uh, sixth and seventh grade will be in, at one table. And then eight through 12, you'll be divided up based upon your last name. So find the table that matches you. You'll come up, you'll get your schedule. On your schedule will be your locker combination. All right, so make sure you know where, where that is at. Uh, you're going to proceed down the hallway. Uh, there will be some staff there kind of greeting you, telling you hello. You're going to make your way to the G, which is right kind of the center, the hub of the building. Uh, there you're going to find the admin team. We're going to have the bus list so that you guys know what time um, to jump on the bus or get on the bus. You're going to meet our counselors. They're all going to be right there in that area. Uh, we will also have, uh, let's see here, yearbook. They will have a table. Band and choir will have a table. Athletics will have a table. Uh, so we'll be able to you know, address any needs that anybody has. Um, also, you will be getting your IDs, right? We are expected to wear our IDs at school. Uh, they, in the beginning of the year, right now, it'll be based upon last year's picture. Uh, if you're a new student or you didn't take a picture last year, we'll give you a temporary ID. Uh, but the plan is that all students, when you come to meet the teacher, you will get your ID with you. Um, from there, you'll have some students who will be able to walk you around the building. We definitely want you to find your locker. We definitely want you to try your locker combination. That's always fun, especially for the middle school students. Uh, but then find your classes. Uh, the teachers will be in their classes. Will be, they'll be working. They'll, they'll be doing some prepping in their classrooms. Please walk into the classroom, stop and say hi, introduce yourself uh, to your teacher, um, and we'll be able to move around the building as you feel needed. Uh, we're going to be available starting at 11 o'clock. At 11, our doors will open, and we're going to stay open till 4.45. All right, so that's our plan at 445. We're going to lock the doors. Um, that way our teachers can uh, get out and get a good night's sleep uh, so that they're ready for Wednesday morning when all you students arrive. A um, couple other things while I'm here. Um, those, of, those students who are going to drive, uh, that link is available. I sent it out on Schoology, so be aware of that. I'll try to put it here um, also for you guys. Um, athletics. So our athletics have started. All right, so if you are interested in playing, now is the time to come out. We need to get you on the field now. Um, we, we really would love to see a JV and a varsity at every single level. That is our expectation. That's the goals we want to reach. I happen to have the, this is a volleyball call out, right? Any student in sixth, seventh, eighth grade, uh, your call out will be August 12th at five o'clock. So be aware of that. Um, but our plan is that, you know, we do have a JV and a varsity at every single level. Um, and students, we need you guys to play. So we're going to be calling some of you. We're going to see some of you in the hallway. We're going to get you guys out because uh, I'm a firm believer in doing more past the school day makes you a better student. Um, there was some question about black and the gold day. So when you guys get your schedule, I happen to have mine right here. Um, if you have the color copy, you'll see that um, some days are gold and some days are black. All right, so that's our, our black days and our gold days because um, we are on the block schedule. The black days, which are going to be Monday and Thursday, students are going to go to periods two, four, six, and eight on your schedule. The gold days, which is going to be Tuesday and Friday, you're going to go to periods one, three, five, and seven. Okay, we're, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have flags in the buildings. So when you guys walk in, you'll see the flag. You'll know whether it's a black day or a gold day. And then Wednesday is a Panther day. Um, and you'll get to see, you'll get to go all eight classes that day. So I want to make sure everyone is aware of that. Um, what else do I have? That might be it. If I have more videos or more information, get out. Check out Schoology. That'll be on there. Um, check the, the Facebook post and they'll be on there. 
feel free to call, ask your questions, and we'll definitely get them answered. Looking forward to a great start of the school year. Take, take, take care. Have a great day.